Hello students, in present video, I am going to explain about fifth problem from depreciation lesson. I am taking this question from Telangana State Inter Second Year Telugu Academy Accountancy Textbook. But this video is useful to all commerce students who want to know about depreciation. I made six videos on this topic. Links are available in description box and in iCard. Let us start this problem. Ramana and the brothers purchased furniture for 22,000 rupees on 1st July 2017. Here fixed asset name is furniture. They bought it on 1st July 2017 for 22,000 rupees. Erection charges paid for 3,000 and paid for carriage 5,000 rupees. Erection charges are also known as installation charges. Carriage means transportation cost. So to bring that asset from purchasing place to our factory, we spend 3,000 plus 5,000, total 8,000 rupees. Here, carriage expenditure 5,000 also, we should include in erection charges only. So total erection charges 8,000 rupees plus purchase price of the asset 22,000 rupees, then cost of the asset is 30,000. Depreciation is to be charged at the rate of 10% on original cost method. Every year under original cost method, under fixed installment method, under straight line method, we should provide 10% depreciation on this asset. Additions are made to the asset for 10,000 rupees on 1st April 2018. They purchased another furniture on 1st April 18 for 10,000 rupees. Second asset cost is 10,000. Show the furniture account for 3 years, assuming that accounts are closed on 31st March every year. As accounts are closed on 31st March every year, we should understand that firm is following financial year. Let us see the dates first. They purchased this 30,000 worth asset on 1-7-17. On 1717 when they buy next March month falls in 2018 year. So first year last date is 31st March 2018. If that is the last date of the year, if you count 12 months, starting date becomes 1417. So first year is from 1417 to 31st March 18. In this first year, they bought asset on 1st July 17. As they bought on the starting date of July, July month also they use this furniture. Then how many months they use that furniture in first year? July, August, September, October, November, December, up to 31st March 18 now, January, February, March. Total 9 months they used this 30,000 worth asset. In first year, we have one asset. It is used for 9 months. We should provide depreciation only for 9 months. Now come to second year. In second year, on 1st April 18, they purchased another furniture for 10,000. So second year last date is 31st March 19. On that day, we have two furnitures. First furniture cost is 30,000. Second furniture cost is 10,000. Both are used for full year. So on this date, we should provide depreciation on these two assets for 12 months. Come to third year. Third year dates are 1419 to 31st March 20. Same assets are continuing in third year also. In third year also, firm used these two assets for 12 months. So he is asking us to show the furniture account for three years. One, two, three. So up to 31st March 20, we should show the furniture account. In furniture account, when they purchase asset debit side, Purchase date to bank purchase value. We should write. 
and on the same day they spent 3000 towards erection and 5000 towards carriage add both and write down to bank total erection charges amount is 8000 rupees now cost of the asset is 30000 under original cost method we should calculate depreciation no under this method every year we have to provide depreciation on the original cost of the asset now cost of the asset is 30000 credit side at the end of the year by depreciation account on cost price 30000 provide 10% depreciation for how many months we used that asset for 9 months therefore only for 9 months you have to provide the depreciation then one numerator one denominator we should cancel Seven fifteen to three. Twenty two fifty is a depreciation for nine months. Then find out the balance carried up. Debit total minus credit total. Thirty thousand minus twenty two fifty. Balance carried down is twenty seven thousand seven fifty. Write down that amount here. Credit side also put the total. First year completed. Come to second year. Next immediate date of this date is 1st April 18. Two balance brought down. Write down this amount here. First asset balance brought down amount. On that day, they purchased another asset for 10,000 rupees. Two bank account, 10,000. Second year last date. On that day, we have two assets now. First furniture is used for 12 months. This is 9 months depreciation. We cannot take that value here. Because in second year we use this asset for 12 months. So 12 months depreciation again we should compute. This is fixed installment method. So the feature of this method is every year we should provide depreciation on original cost of the asset. First asset original cost is 30,000 rupees. In second year also, on 30,000, we should calculate 10% depreciation. As asset is used for full year, we need not to write any months here. In inner column, write down first asset depreciation, 3,000 rupees. Then second furniture. Cost is 10,000. Second furniture also we used for full year. So compute depreciation at the rate of 10% for 12 months. 1,000 rupees. Then total depreciation in outer column 4,000 rupees. Then find out the balance carried out. Debit total 37,000. 750 minus credit total 4000 rupees then balance carried down amount is 33750 credit side also write down the total 37750 second year completed come to third year next immediate date of this date is 1419 Two balance brought down 33,750. Third year last date is 31st March 20. On that day, we have two assets. First furniture value 30,000 rupees. Second furniture value 10,000 rupees. Both are used for full year. These are full year depreciations we calculated in second year now. So again, you need not to show the calculations. Directly write down the depreciation amounts in inner column. First asset depreciation 3000. Second asset depreciation 1000. Total in outer column 4000 rupees. Then balance carried down. Debit total 
minus credit total twenty nine thousand seven fifty credit side. Put the total for three years. He asked one, two, three. For fourth year, we should bring the balance and we should stop the problem. In third year, asset account is showing some balance. Means asset account is not at closed. When you work in any organization, you are going to continue this account for next year also. But as a student, you have to start the problem here because he is asking to prepare the asset account only for three years. So for fourth year, bring the balance. Date is next date of this one for twenty two balance brought down. Write down this amount here. So this is all about fifth problem in depreciation lesson. Hope this video is useful to you. Thank you.